As home gardens wilt in this summer's extreme heat, many folks are turning to Louisiana's farmers markets for fresh produce. Joining me now is Kristen Oaks with this week's Ag Minute. And Kristen, I guess the farmers market really is the best alternative to that garden. Well, you know, every morning I remember getting up with my mom and going to pick out peaches and blueberries at the farmers market every summer. And the idea behind the market was simple. Cut out the middleman so farmers could sell their produce directly to the consumer. On the surface, there was nothing really remarkable about it. A group of different farmers selling fruits and vegetables fresh from their garden. But it was a modest idea that changed the way we shop for our groceries. Our ancestors, the country's very first farmers, took their extra crops to the town square to trade them for other goods. But modern day markets have a much shorter history. In 1979, the farmers of Gardena, California wanted to bring fresh fruits and vegetables to low income neighborhoods where quality produce was hard to find. The idea would also help small family farms survive in a hostile world of commercial agriculture. Not only did they succeed at those two goals, they changed the way farming and the produce industry functioned. Today, farmers markets seem to be everywhere. Cashing in more than $1 billion in sales last year, these farmers markets are a thriving part of the U.S. agriculture economy. Now, the Louisiana Department of Ag and Forestry offers coupons for senior citizens to shop for fresh produce at their local farmers markets. To find out more about this program, visit our website, twilatv.org. Now, moving on to Twilight Trivia. Last week, I asked you, tourism contributes how much money on average to the New Orleans economy? And the answer is B, $4 billion. For this week's trivia, about how many farmers markets are located in the United States? Is it A, 6,000, B, 9,000, or C, 15,000? All you need to do is log on to our website. You know the address, twilatv.org. Submit your answer, and we'll send one correct entry, a Twila prize pack, and a copy of Holly Clegg's newest cookbook, Too Hot in the Kitchen. And Avery, there's actually some really good stuff in here. Especially after you make that trip to the farmer's market. Thanks a lot, Kristen. And egg